Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the Git resolution scale information node. So we're going to go ahead and look at this node, and it's pretty simple. It comes off of our game user settings, like all of our other nodes, and it gives us back the return results, or the getters, for the resolution scale normalized and the resolution scale value, along with giving us back the minimum and maximum values that we can use for the selected resolution. Let's look at this in use. Right now I'm getting the current scale value from it, and when I hit play, that's how we get assuming I stop the debug. That's how we get our scale here, between 50 and 100%. I'm basically getting the value and returning it back in my text box here. Let me pause this, and let's look at the node itself, and it's pretty simple. The first return is our current scale normalized. This is the opposite of our set scale normalized. So if we've set it, if we wish to get it, like I do in this example, we could return it back from here. Let me show you this right now. We'll hit play. Oh, let's do our break and hit play. And this is going to return back a value between 0 and 1. How much of our scale normalized value do we have it set at? If I return back the next one, this gives us back our lower and upper range, which is 50% and 100% for this resolution. If I was to do the next one, our minimum scale value, we're going to get back 50% because 50% is our minimum scale value for this resolution. And of course, max scale value, hopefully you know, will return back 100%. Because 100% is our maximum scale value for the resolution we currently have. Now our maximum scale value, I've never seen anything other than 100%. It always seems to be 100%, and I've never seen the ability for it to go over 100%. Maybe they'll add some changes in the future to allow us to upscale as a form of like a fake AA. And if they do, then your max scale value will be helpful. Now remember our minimum scale value is based on the current resolution. So if I was to play this at 1280 by 720 like I have now, our minimum is 50 and our max is 100. But if I change this to like 1440 by 900 and hit apply and then adjust, our minimum is now 40 and our maximum is 100. And if we were to pause this, and we'll go ahead and go back to our example, and we'll slide it, then look at our node, our get resolution scale information will tell us that. Our minimum is 40 and our maximum is 100. Our current value is 73.78. That means we have it about a 74% scale. And on the bar between zero and one, we're at about 56%. And if we look at our values, remember 56% and 74%, we would be about 74% here and about 56% of the bar. Let me undo this and resume. And you'll see that we were around 76% and 56% of the bar. So that's it. That's going to wrap up our Git resolution scale information node. It's basically one combined Gitter node for our two set nodes as long as as well as giving us back our value minimum and maximum.